Welcome to Yoga with Roseanne. Today's yin class will be a 25 minute length practice where we'll get into deep stretches of the hips and legs. So join me on your back to start to find mobility in your hip sockets. So rock the pelvis on the earth just a few times so that pelvis will tuck toward the belly button just a little and then come to neutral curves and tuck, neutral curves. So you press the arms down. And then from here, start to peel the sacrum off the earth and lift up into a bridge, just to warm. And lower from the ribs first, all the way down through the spine. Notice how this feels in the hips a few more times. Let's do a round two, press through those feet. And last one, lift, inhale, and exhale, lower, lower, lower. Draw the knees in and make circles to the outside edges of the room. Still warming here. We will get to the yin. <laughs> to be prepared, reverse. Mm -hmm. Few more circles. And then hug those knees in. You could roll into your side, or if it's safe for your spine, start to rock until you find yourself seated with your feet on the floor. You can cross those legs, hands come out in front or to your sides as you come forward into a tabletop and uncross the legs. Find the center of your mat. And let's lengthen that right leg behind us and pull it through between the hands. Frame the front foot here, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Mm. Just stay here for a moment. Pressing through the hands. And then hands come to the inseam of the lead leg. You could keep the knee lifted or lower. All right, yin is more about release, becoming passive. So you could stay lowered here. And breathe. So you go deeply into the hip. And you can vary the sensation by walking that back knee further behind you. Just make sure that it's comfortable for you. Good amount of stretch, but not to your maximum. And press that back shin down and see if that changes the sensation in a subtle way also. And as you stay here, you might feel the desire to go deeper. That's the case. You might explore an elbow bend to straight, bend to straight, to perhaps keep the elbows bent and come a little lower, a little further into stretch sensation. There's a bit of work for the arms here. Continue long, deep breathing. A little longer.
Notice if your experience shifts, the pose naturally deepens, or if you need to back out a little. This is your practice. <clears throat> Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Ha. I'm not quite finished here. Option to roll onto the outside of that right foot. So you can rotate toward that lead leg. Maybe roll out that top wrist. You've been on the hands a while. Switch the direction of the wrist circles and bring that hand back down. Return to the full sole of the foot, frame the front foot. Hmm. Pause it again. Before we lengthen that lead leg, Maybe flex through the toes and find this hamstring opener. If you'd like something more active today, you could come off of the back knee. The length of the back of the leg. Length through the spine. Three more breaths here. More inhale. And exhale, lower the back knee. If you had it lifted, assist that right leg so the knees can come side by each. Widen them and sit into your child's pose. Right for the hips, ability to hinge at the hips. Maybe even the inner thighs feel a little bit more open here. And give the wrists a rest. Maybe play with the hands, open and close, open and close. And soften. Notice how that right hip feels. And then roll up through the spine, come into a downward facing dog <clears throat> so that you can take that right leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open the hips just for a moment. And then hips face the earth as you draw that right leg through for sleeping swan. So we're really staying on this side for a bit. <laughs> so sleeping swan, quite a deep hip stretch here. Allow that back leg to lengthen and press down that front shin and angle it however it's comfortable for your knee. Options if this is too deep is to roll onto the right hip, adjust the legs so you can find deer, still a great hip opener, but sometimes more gentle for the knee depending on your bone structure. 
And again, with either one, you could come all the way down with the upper body or stay a little taller and find some length. There's tension creeping into the jaw, into the face. Move the tongue around the mouth. Soften through the shoulders. And breathe. Notice if the sensation changes as the fascia starts to soften. Long gates. Bringing new, fresh fluids to the tissues. Inhale and exhale, perhaps to the mouth. As from wherever you are, you begin to lift up to forearms, perhaps, and onto hands. <clears throat> and once on hands, see if you can. Ah, come onto the back knee if you're not already there and slide the legs long and lower onto the belly. Left hand underneath the forehead, bend the right knee, clasp the ankle. So a little opportunity to get into the front of the leg. Did promise full leg stretch. The one missing piece here. A little shorter of a time. The focus being on the hips. Press the front of the pelvis down. Another inhale and exhale to release that. Come into a sphinx, stretch up to the up, the, the front of the body. And lower all the way down, slide those hands in so you can press yourself up and back into a downward facing dog. <sighs> Pedal the feet to stretch up through the calves a little here. And that left leg will come up into the sky. Let's bend the knee, stack the hips open to that left side wall. Inhale and exhale. Pelvis will face the earth again as you draw that left leg through between the hands. Stay high for a moment here. And hands to the inside of the lead leg. If 
you're ready or would like to, that back knee can come down or stay lifted. What areas of the body don't need to work right now? What can you soften? Maybe you again bend the elbows a little and like that. Bend and like them. Until you find your place to stay. Notice any inner resistance or sense of calm. There's no right or wrong. Observe the mind's response to this posture. Lengthen up the breath to help uncoil the tissues. One more inhale. And exhale. Ha. Inhale. And your next exhale, perhaps blade left foot and rotate toward it. Just an option because always stay center. Few breaths. One more inhale. And exhale to return the foot to the earth. Hands frame front foot. Maybe you lift the back knee or it could stay down. So test the waters. I'm gonna lower my back down to lengthen the lead leg. And decide where you'd like to be. Maybe the back knee lifts again. Maybe it stays down. A little length for the back of the leg. Maybe even flex front foot or keep the foot grounded. Whatever feels safe in your body. And draw that left leg a little further back into its socket for the last few breaths. Inhale. And exhale. As you lower that foot back down, back knee comes down if it was lifted. And draw or support that left leg to come back. Widen the knees, find that child's pose again, maybe even a little wider to get into the inseams of the legs.
One more inhale and exhale to bring those hands in a little closer to draw the knees in, tuck the toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog. And that left leg will come high into the sky and pull it through to meet the hands and set down the shin. Pull it anywhere from 90 inward. If choosing pigeon, long back leg, press shins down, tall spine. Or roll onto that left hip and adjust the legs. And from wherever you are, you might choose a lean to any degree. Forearms might even come down, stacked fists to just support the head. Feel free to take a little moment here to find your position. Breathe as if you could breathe into the hips. Explore all the sensations your body has to offer in your hips, pelvis. And you stay present. With the sensation, or if it's dulled, perhaps more subtle sensations. Sometimes it intensifies over the pose. Sometimes it starts to reduce. notice. One more inhale and exhale to start to press onto forearms if you were lowered and onto hands so that you can, ah, if you weren't already there, find the back knee, find kind of the top of pigeon to slide that left leg long and come onto the belly. Right hand this time under the forehead, bend your right knee and clasp the ankle and press your pelvis down. It's a little while here. a few more breaths. Finding length through the front of the leg. Final inhale. 
and exhale to release the clasp of the ankle, perhaps come into a sphinx or low cobra. And then lower down onto your belly. And today, this is where I leave you if you'd like to extend your practice and take a savasana here. Or if you'd like, you could do one of the links. Right? Or if you like, check out one of the meditative practices. Or, yeah. Or if you'd like, check out one of the meditative practices to follow. Hope you enjoyed your practice and have a great day.